Hello, this is a very quick look at the Steam Link. I've had this now for about a week. I pre-ordered it from Game UK and they delivered it uh, along with the Steam controller. I'll be reviewing this separately. The Steam Link itself is a really nice little device, very nice and compact. It's got various options on the back for a couple of USBs, HDMI out, network, although you can also use this Wi-Fi. There's a USB on the side and that's very useful for the Steam controller. So just to explain my setup, my PC is in the study upstairs and my TV is downstairs. I currently do stream in reverse. I stream from the Xbox to the PC and that works brilliantly over my network. And I do that via some TP-Link adapters, which I've previously reviewed. They're really good. So it's a wired connection rather than a wireless connection. And basically I've slotted the Steam Link on top of the Xbox and you can see the little dongle sticking out the side. This allows me to use the 360 controllers. I believe there's an Xbox One dongle on the way, so it'll be good to see that come out. Once you fire this up, you'll have a couple of updates to install, and once you get going, you can see here you've got quite a few settings, so you can go through, have a little play, adjust the display, change the language. There's all sorts to have a look at. I found the out-of-the-box configuration worked for me, but you can adjust the streaming to either be fast or beautiful. I've gone for balanced, and I found it worked really, really well. So once you log into your PC, as well as having access to your Steam library, you also have access to the internet. Uh, that means that you can type away and go to any website you like. It will fire up. And this is really useful uh, if you use streaming sites. So as an example, let's go to Netflix. You can see here an example of the split keyboard that comes up using the Steam controller. So once you're logged into Netflix, and this could be any web streaming site that you happen to use, you can simply select what, you, what it is you want to watch and play it full screen. So this is an interesting way of accessing any kind of streaming site on your main TV. I didn't notice any problems with it streaming. It played full screen without any issues and you still have access to the skipping forwards and backwards. So it's a, a nice little addition, allowing you to stream TV and movies straight to your TV via your PC. Back to Steam itself and you've got access to your friend list so you can see who's online and what they're playing and you've also got access to the community section. You do have access to the store but at the time of the review there's something a bit weird going on where nothing was being returned apart from results for videos. These are all nice features but let's now turn to what this box is really about, game streaming and this works really really well. I've reviewed a mini PC previously which allowed for Steam in home streaming and while that worked okay it was quite a messy solution because of all the wires. This one just sits under your TV and it works brilliantly. Connect straight to your library, hit play, you can filter by the uh, game type and if it can say controller or keyboard and mouse and it works just as well streaming from my PC to the link as I found the Xbox streams to my PC. What I've really enjoyed most while testing this is some of the more arcade games I wouldn't normally touch but now they're on the large screen I'm having a lot more fun with them than I would do uh, with the PC. I'm also really enjoying that the co-op element is back so you can play things like Gauntlet two-player and that's both on the same screen at the same time or you can go competitive and uh, beat each other up in various beat em ups and these are all really dirt cheap. Absolutely loving the fact that the PC is still embracing co-op split screen whereas consoles are going more towards online gaming. So I'm blasting through quite a few games here just to give you a bit of a feel. You can see Saints Row, Tomb Raider, they're all working brilliantly. They have streamed without a problem. I did find on this Lord of the Rings game, every now and again it seems to maybe a slight jerk, slight judder. Uh, I, I don't know if that was my network playing up, if someone was streaming a video at that particular time, but it didn't really impact the gameplay. As you can see here, it's flowing really beautifully. I've been focusing on playing action games downstairs because I'd rather use keyboard and mouse at the PC. If you do try and play a game that requires keyboard and mouse, you'll get a warning and you'll have to configure the uh, controller. Now, I've been using the Steam pad itself and I found it's been okay actually. This is Civilization and it takes a bit of getting used to, but I need a little bit more time before I do a full review on this. So there you have it. So far I've been very pleased with the Steam Link. I'm loving the fact I can play some two-player games back in the living room again when most consoles these days seem to be pushing you towards using networking and playing online rather than locally. I'll be following up with a Steam controller review, so please hit subscribe if you want to see that. If you've got any questions about the link, feel free to leave them below, and when I get around to it, I'll either try and answer them directly or I may do another video. I hope you found the short review useful. Thanks for watching.